Welcome to the fifth part of my Terrible Maltese <laughs> course. So you remember from the first part I called it Terrible. Why? I have no idea. You figure it out. But today I'm going to be talking about something terrible. And uh, this is the only part that I actually had to re-record twice already. This is my third attempt because uh, it's simply so complex. Uh, I don't want to get into all the details. I will again send you to my uh, Memrise course to practice, but I want to talk about uh, certain uh, rules uh, about Maltese numbers, which are so difficult that, um, uh, as you noticed, most Maltese people use English numbers instead. Uh, the good thing is that uh, Maltese numbers and Arabic numbers are very similar. If you ever decide to learn Arabic, you're going to have an easier time. Okay, uh, with the numbers. There are s uh, certain rules with numbers that uh, apply mm, only to a certain groups of numbers. So, the number one is treated completely differently, like all the rest. Unlike all the rest. One is the only number that has a gender, wihed or wahda. Uh, and it's the only number that is used uh, like an adjective after the noun. So, for example, one cat is attus wihed. Uh, one female cat, attusa wahda. Um, now, from two to ten, uh, you have three different forms. Uh, of uh, a number. For example, for two, you have tnein, zewj, and zewjt. Uh, when are those used? Tnein, the first form, is used when the number stands alone on or when it is followed by anything except mm, a noun. When it's followed by a noun, directly by a noun, without any um, preposition, anything in between, it uses the second form, which is zewj. So, for example, two is tnein. Two blue ones is zew uh, blah, tnein blue. But two cats is zewj atates. Um, the third form is used when the noun is one syllable and uh, uh, begins with two consonants. For example, rjil, men. So two men would be zewj tirjil. Then you add an i in front of the noun and you use the third form, zewj t. Right? Um, you will find all the forms and all the exercise in the memorized course. I don't want to go into every single number because it would just take too long. And from 2 to 10, use plural. So you have 2 cats, 3 cats, 5 cats, 10 cats. Okay. From 11 onwards, the situation changes. You use singular. So you have 11 cat, 12 cat. And this continues all the way, all the way to 100. So it's like 99 cat, right? Um, that's one thing that changes. And there are two forms also when there is no noun following uh, the, the, the number, uh, you just use khtash, uh, tnash, erbatash, khmistash, just, just the word. When you have a noun following it, you add dash il, not at the beginning, at the end. So you have khtash il etates, attus, see? 11 cat, khtash il attus, Tnash il attus, and the il is again joined to the number. It's not joined to the noun that follows it. That's very unusual. Okay, from twenty onward, uh, you still stay with the singular, plural, as I said, only between two and ten, and then uh, onwards with a hundred and two hundred, etc. And uh, for the, for the first range. Um, but also you use the, um, uh, the, f the smaller number at the beginning. So it's not 25, it's 5 and 20, for example. So you have... Hames uh, uh, Woshrin Attus. 
So hamsa washing atus. Hamsa washing atus. Hamsa because u is not a noun. Uh, it's not hames uh, etates. It's hamsa u oshrin atus five and twenty cat. Great, isn't it? You still want to shoot yourself. <laughs> okay, it's uh, at least till 99 we're safe. It's it's similar all the way to 99. Uh, with a hundred, uh, 101 is 100 cats and one. Uh, then uh, 102 cats, etc., etc. So it's um, for Mia, Mia is 100. Mia uzeuj etates, right? Because atates follows zeuj, follows the number, so it has to be the second form. Got it. Brain just gets to explode when you start to follow all these rules. That's why I said uh, Maltese numbers are probably the most difficult um, thing about the language. Now the only two uh, difficult things uh, following on is that um, 200 is not zoj mia, it's metain. And 2000 is not uh, zoj elef, uh, it's uh, elfain. Uh, it's the same thing uh, with, other, mm, with other nouns that can have uh, uh, like a pair. Meaning in Maltese, when you have two of something, there is a special form which is kind of like a pair of um, of something. Uh, and you use that instead of two somethings, if ever it exists. For example, two times is not zeuch uh, darbit, it's darptain. Two hours is not zeuch uh, siat, it's satain. Uh, so as I said, mm, Mia has metane, and and uh, for Mia you also have a form, uh, different form for uh, the noun that follows it, which is mit. So a hundred cats is metit, mit at, mm, atus or etates. Oh God, see, I'm 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 getting confused. I'm sorry. You just gotta go and memorize and and figure it out from there because even though I've been trying to remember all this, it's just too much. Okay, so these are the cardinal numbers. They're also ordinal, uh, ordinal numbers which are slightly different again. So uh, ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, etc. are lewell, l dash ewell. What does that have to do with we had? Nothing. It's completely different. Lewell, the first. Etini, and you notice you use an article with it. Etini, the second, and then you don't use the article with uh, uh, with the noun itself. For example, second floor, etini sular, not etini is sular. Never use the article. Etini sular. Tilet. Um, it tilet sura, sular, third floor, uh, and then uh, iraba sular, and then from five onwards, luckily, it's uh, it's very similar to the actually actual numbers. It's I believe on always the second form of the number. So it's it's ilhamas sular, is sit sular, is seba sular, etc. 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 Right. So um, ordinal numbers are not that uh, difficult but uh, for cardinal ones all I can uh, mm, all I can recommend is uh, practice a lot on memories because you're going to be just as confused as I am and if you ever want to um, take an official Maltese course and get an official certificate and stuff unfortunately Maltese numbers are part of it despite the fact that they are, they are very rarely used um, in everyday situations so uh, I leave you with this and next part uh, which will probably come out on the next day because I've already done three parts today and I'm a bit tired 
Um, next part will be focusing, I believe, on uh, days of the week and uh, hours and how time is related and how uh, seasons and stuff like this. So things uh, um, related to numbers, but not directly about numbers. Um, and you will see uh, a couple of very, inter very interesting similarities then. But till then, enjoy and please practice memorize. Thank you.